Okay, we're going to go over Unit 1, Lesson 2, Section 1, Exercises 12 and 13. Exercise 12 tells us to translate. We're going to do number 1, and number 1 says Gloria Dei. So Gloria, we know, is a first declension word because when we memorized it, we memorized Gloria, Gloriae. And so Gloria has the stem of G-L-O-R-I, and we have the ending of a short A. And the short A in the first declension can only be nominative singular. So we know that Gloria is the subject of the sentence. We have it as nominative singular. Now we have Dei. Dei is second declension. We memorized Deus, Dei. So we're going to find our stem of De and look at our ending of the long I. And the long I could be one of two things. So the first thing it could be is genitive singular or nominative plural. So for the sake of this sentence, we're not going to have two subjects, right? That would make not a lot of sense, Gloria and God's. And we also know that this is capital D, which makes it a singular, the singular God. So that's not going to be possible. So we know genitive means that God is possessing the glory. So we would translate that as the glory of God the glory of God or we could translate it as God's glory. Either way works. And moving on to exercise 13 um, the instructions tell us to, number one, translate, and number two, to diagram sentences two, three, and ten. So I went ahead and started with number three. Number three, we have Christiani Filium Dei Laurent. So starting at the beginning, we have Christiani, knowing our stem is Christian, and this is a second declension word because we remembered Christianus, Christiani, and E just like Dei, could either be genitive singular or nominative plural. We'll hold off and find out what that is in, in the end. Now we have filium, and filium was son. And we have filiu, filius, filii is what we memorized. And so fili is our stem, and we're looking at the um ending. And if we look at our second declension, masculine, we find that um is only found in the accusative singular. So that would make filius our direct object. We move on to dei. Dei, again, just like we did about up there, is second declension. And if we're looking at the e ending, it's going to be genitive singular or nominative plural, but we know since it's the capital D, it's not nominative plural. This will be our genitive word, our possessive word. And now we have laudant. Laudant being our verb of praise, and we have the ending of nt. If we can remember our ost, mustus nt, nt would be our third person plural. So praise would be plural. And our verb always has to agree back to our subject. So this being our option for a subject, we don't have any other nominatives unless it was going to be they makes sense that Christian would be our subject, so we're going to cross out the genitive. And so we have Christians, Christians, praise. Now we have our direct object, which is sun, and it's singular, so we're going to say the sun. And our genitive, our possessing word, is God. So God is possessing the sun. So Christians praise the sun. Oh, let's capitalize sun because it's capitalized in the sentence. So Christians praise the sun of God. Or we could say Christians praise God's sun. And if we wanted to diagram that, we're going to go ahead and make our diagram line, putting our line just past the bottom line. We put our 
subject first. We have Christiani. And then we have our verb, which is laudant. And our direct object has a line down, stopping at this line. Our direct object being filium. And where do we put God? Well, we, we're going to put God because it's genitive and it's possessive. It's modifying the word son, so it's going to go right here. Dei. So if we were doing this in English, oops, if we were doing this in English, we would have either of God, so going down and over for using our prepositions, or it would be God's. G-O-D apostrophe S would go just like this, like the modifier. And lastly, we are going to look at number 13, or lesson 13, sorry, exercise 13, number 10. And so this is Maria et Crisius amicos dei laudant. So we have Maria, first declension, Maria Mariae, and we looked that it has the short A, which is always nominative singular in the first declension. Then we're going to go to the word et. We remember et is and. And then we have Christus. And Christus is second declension. Is, and you remember that by Christus, Christi. And us is only ever nominative singular. So we have, there we go. Maria or Mary and Christ. Now, what do we have here? We have amicos. So we remembered amicus, amici, which makes it second declension. Here's our stem. We're looking at our ending. And os. Os can be in the second declension only one place, and that's the accusative plural. So this would be our direct object. And we have dei, which is God our stem of day, our ending of E, and we know because God is only singular, that, that can only be genitive singular. And then finally our verb is laudant, laudant having the ending of NT, making that plural, and we know our rule of the verb always has to agree with its subject and number. So this is plural, and we look up here, we have a subject that's singular. That might be a little confusing, but we do have an and. So when we have two singulars put together, that's going to make Mary and Christ plural because it's not just Mary who praises. It's Mary and Christ. So it does agree. So right here we have Mary and Christ praise the friends of God. Now to diagram this, they don't show you in Henley, but this is how we learned it in our essentials class with CC, is you're going to have your subject line like this. Some people make this line right here dotted. And we're going to put Mar Maria, Maria right here. Maria and Christus right here, Christ. And on this dotted line, we'll have the word et for and. So there's our subject line. And we're going to continue that on. And just like we would do between the subject and the verb, we're going to have our line that goes just past there to divide it. And we have our verb right here, laudant, L-A-U-D-A-N-T. So Mary and Christ praise, and what are they praising? Friends. So this is plural, friends, or the friends. Oops, I almost wrote English. So we're going to write amicus, amicus, and whose friends? God's friends. So God is modifying friends. There we go. We have Mary and Christ praise. the friends 
of God. Or Mary and Christ praise God's friends. 